Hey YouTube, um, I just wanted to come in and like, say I am a guy, and I am a Barbie collector. I am completely and truly have been fascinated with Barbie since day one, okay? Um, uh, she's so beautiful, and her motto, anything is possible. That's always in my mind. I tell people... There's so much more to life than working in a dump and just coming home and you can do anything you want. You just have to put your mind to it. And that's what she stands for. Well, women, anything is possible, you know, but I take that motto to heart and I truly believe anything is possible with work and the willpower. Shabang. But anyways, I don't want to make this too long, but. I've been a Barbie fanatic since I was a baby. I remember stealing diapers, watching my older sister play with Barbies. I would sneak her Barbies and play with them in the closet. And she had like a life-size Barbie. And I would take the clothes off and put them on. And I got busted by my dad. But he just made me take it off, but he didn't freak out. But uh, yeah, as I grew older, you know, my, my parents got divorced. But my mom, you know, she's still bought me Barbies she started buying me because I was so fascinated and like the cool thing is it wasn't a problem and then about 11 years old I came home from school and my Barbies were completely gone she was like I hate to throw your Barbies out but I feel like it's time for you to grow up and that was that I cried so much but you know, I started growing up, and you know, I was buying, you know, I got my first job, and I started buying Barbies for people, like my grandmother and my mom, and like family members, if I saw a beautiful Barbie, I bought it for them just so I could go to the house and look at it and admire it. <sighs> I stopped doing that, and years went on down the road, I got even a better job, making really good money. I started buying them for myself and then I didn't buy but a few just a few collector dolls and like I just stopped you know I got wrapped up into life and work and dating and I happened to meet a guy that it was on accident we met and he was also obsessed with Barbie as much as I was well you know we hit it off the bat right then and he had completely a whole room of nothing Barbies, wall to wall, no joke. When I went and visited him, I was completely blown away. And that's something we did together. And uh, we really hit it off that way. And we were just Barbie fanatics. He had Barbie tattoos all over him. I'm not going that far. I don't really care for tattoos. I have no problem with them, but on me, I just don't really want none. I have one and it's hidden. But anyways, we got to date and it got heavy and as time went on a dark side came out of him and like he was abusive he would hit on me all the time and after about a year with that crap of all the mental and the verbal and the physical abuse I walked out I walked out with it luckily alive <laughs> I just didn't know people like that really existed out there but you know what they do so I I was living in Oklahoma at the time but I flew back to North Carolina and as you're trying to heal from a breakup and the abuse it is so freaking hard cuz nine it's like nine or ten months now I've been away from him I'm still trying to get over it it's still a process and it's still a struggle but I'm getting better but I would have so many moments where I'm like okay I'm working I have everything I'm back on my feet I just feel like something's missing I'm constantly thinking about what's happened in the past and I need to move on shaboom I walked into a toy store matter of fact I walked into a toy store it was an antique toy store and I happened to found this doll in there she is a vintage reproduction she was in a box but the box was crushed and they, I don't think they was asking about $12 for it I got her and I didn't want to take her out of the box but she was um the box was crushed so I took her out 
and she had every her flowers on the floor but she holds a flower this star right here is what started a massive collection of hundred and fifty dollars in the box and I have a bunch out of the box that I redone like it's crazy it's some true addiction I can't stop like to me it's a clean addiction if you're paying your bills and you're budgeting your money out and you have food on the table and your car's full of gas and everything's good why not take 80 bucks hell 20 sometimes I just take 20 bucks and go buy a barbie it's just it's a healthy habit you're not doing drugs you're not hurting anyone unless you're blowing your whole check on dolls and stuff but yeah I guess that could be but I have found happiness while well, I'm finding happiness with Barbie she's helping me but I want to thank you and I'm truly happy with this collecting these dolls I mean there's not much you can do with them but how could you be so angry at the world and so upset when you wake up in a room surrounded by beauty I mean she's beautiful she's plastic and I also collect Monster High <laughs> I know I didn't like them at first but they're, they're really cute I just never paid attention but that's it if you want to see let me put her back well here's my kitty cat I'll let you see the rest of my collection <laughs> And I have a whole. I have. I have a lot, and I have a bunch in the closet. Like, the closet is loaded down. But yeah. Oh great. <sighs> Sorry. But yeah. That's it. I love Barbie. She's beautiful. Anything is possible. So. uh screw that like but yeah thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it and sorry for it being so long <laughs> but yeah thank you so much and to the th finally meet a thousand subscribers that is amazing mm. thank you so much